Unit 2, Formative 1, Day 2, 1 and 2 step inequalities. Okay, so we're going to start with the inequality 2 is less than 6. We all know that 2 is less than 6, and we're going to try all these different things to see what happens when we add things to both sides, subtract things, multiply things, and divide things. So first we're going to try to add 2. So if I add 2 to both sides, that's like taking 2 plus 2, which is 4, and we keep the sign, so which is less than 8. Is 4 then less than 8? Yes, so that's fine. Okay, so that adding positive numbers to both sides is fine. Um, if we subtract positive numbers, if you subtract 2 from both sides, you get 0 is less than 4. Well, 0 is less than 4, so subtracting is fine. What about multiplying both sides by 2? Um, 2 times 2 is 4. 6 times 2 is 12. 4 is less than 12, so that's fine. Dividing both sides by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 1 is less than 3, so that's fine. So no matter what, when we add, subtract, multiply, or divide positive numbers, we're all good. Let's try adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing negative numbers. If I add a negative 2, so 2 plus negative 2 is 0, 6 plus negative 2 is 4. Is 0 less than 4? Yeah, that's fine. Subtracting negative 2. So this is like 2 minus negative 2. Well, what happens when you have two negatives next to each other? They become a positive, so that's actually like adding. So this is 4 is less than 8. Well, 4 is less than 8, so that's fine too. Okay, let's try multiplying by negative 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. Is negative 4 less than negative 12? No, it is not. So this is a huge red flag. Drawing my little red flag there. Okay, because that does not work. To make it work, you'd have to flip the sign and make negative 4 is greater than negative 12. That's the only way it would work. Okay, so let's try the next one. Divide by negative 2. 2 divided by negative 2 is negative 1. 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. Is negative 1 less than negative 3? No, it's not. It's negative 1 is greater than negative 3. So again, red flag. Okay, so when you look over this, when you add, subtract, multiply, and divide by a positive, no big deal. When you add and subtract negatives, no big deal. But if you look right over here, when you are multiplying or dividing by a negative number, you have to flip the sign. Okay, so let me say that one more time. When you multiply or divide by a negative, flip the sign. Those are the only times you have to do anything different. Okay, let's try some. So this first one, x plus 3 is less than 7. We're going to solve this the same way we solved our equations. Okay, since so opposite of plus 3 would be to subtract 3 from both sides. Alright, so you get x is, we don't do anything to the sign, so less than 4. We didn't do anything to the sign because we did not multiply or divide by a negative number. Now the x is by itself, we can read that as x is less than 4. So we can put our 0 and our 4 because it's not equal to, like we learned yesterday, we use an open circle. The numbers that are less than 4 are to the left, so we shade to the left. Now if I want to write interval notation, my answers go from negative infinity, oop, I wrote that wrong. Negative infinity to positive 4. It does not equal negative infinity, it does not equal 4, so we use parentheses. All right, let's try another one. Negative 3y is less than or equal to 12. To solve this, we would need to divide by a negative 3. You should have bells and whistles going off in your head because you're dividing by a negative. When you divide by a negative, you have to flip the sign. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So you get y instead of being less than or equal to. Now it's greater than or equal to negative 4. Okay, so we have our 0, negative 4 is on the left. Because it does equal it, we use a closed dot. Numbers that are greater than or equal to negative 4 are to the right. Okay, so you shade to the right. To write this in interval notation, our answers start at negative 4, and they go all the way to positive infinity. Does not equal infinity, never will, but it does equal negative 4, so you use a bracket. Okay, so when you divide or multiply by a negative number, you have to flip the sign. P 
over 5 is greater than negative 1. To move that 5, we would times by 5. Now we've got to ask ourselves, are we timesing by a positive or a negative? We're timesing by a positive, so we don't need to do anything. So we have P is, we keep the sign the same way, greater than negative 5. So I don't care what my answer is. My answer can be negative. But the only time you have to flip the sign is when you multiply or divide by a negative. All right, so you put in your 0, you put in your negative 5. Because it does not equal negative 5, we have to use an open dot. Numbers that are greater than negative 5 are to the right, so we shade to the right. Interval notation, we would start at negative 5, and our answers go to positive infinity. It does not equal negative 5, it does not equal infinity, so we use parentheses. All right, one more. Negative 3 minus 2x is greater than or equal to 1. How would I move that negative 3? You would add it to the other side. So those go away. You have negative 2x is greater than or equal to 4. I didn't flip the sign because I have not multiplied or divided by negative. Now to move that negative 2, we would need to divide by negative 2. Ask yourself, are you dividing by a negative or a positive? It's a negative, so you have to flip the sign. So you get x is less than or equal to negative 2. So you put your 0, you put your negative 2. It is equal, so you use a closed dot. So you color it in. Numbers that are less than or equal to negative 2, you shade to the left. So your answers start at negative infinity. They go all the way to negative 2. They do not equal negative infinity, but they do equal negative 2. So we have to use a bracket for that sign. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.